Hey y'all, <laughs> today's video is uh, how to prepare an omelet. Well, I think most of y'all probably know how to make an omelet, but the recipe that I'm gonna share with y'all is a pimento cheese omelet. Now, I know a lot of folks uh, outside of the South has not heard of pimento cheese. Well, <laughs> Down here. Had you ever heard of pimento cheese, Eddie? In no. New Hampshire? No, I don't think so. Yeah, uh, 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 so many folks in this world don't know about it. Well, it's wonderful. It is wonderful. We are raised up down here on pimento cheese sandwiches uh, or a scoop of pimento cheese on your hamburger. Uh, and I love when I make a pot of a vegetable beef soup and then I'll make grilled pimento cheese sandwiches to dip down in that soup and it is tongue smacking good y'all so uh, if you're not sure how to make pimento cheese I don't recommend buying it because it's just not the same as homemade but where could they go to find my recipe didn't we do a video of it we did yes so yes it's so, one of our quarantine videos is the so it's is a, pimento cheese. Okay, so all they'd have to do is go to quarantine cooking and then well, under well, search. Pa Paula Dean YouTube. Um, Paula under, Dean YouTube. Yeah. Okay. And then in the little search button, they could put in pimento cheese, right? And it would just come up for them. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Or it's also in my very, very first cookbook. Um. So you'll just have to try making that. It's it's wonderful, it's no trouble. But I do recommend this. I do recommend you grating your own cheese uh, because the cheese it's already grated for us, I know it's so convenient. Uh, but try for your pimento cheese to, to grate your own cheese of choice. I use a medium cheddar. Uh, sometimes I will mix it up with sharp and medium. Uh, sometimes I will mix it up with medium and uh, uh, jack. You know, just another another type of cheese. And I like using a white cheese and a yellow cheese together, just the way it looks. So that's my tips for your pimento cheese. And it calls for a little onion. And uh, when I when I recommend putting onion in it, you always want to make sure it's grated, grated onion, because it's that onion juice that uh, you want so badly for your pimento cheese. So you don't want to use uh, chopped up. Okay, so this omelet is gonna be a two egg. Do y'all know that there's a town here in Georgia called two egg? Two Egg, Georgia. Did y'all know it? Did you know it, Teresa? I did not. Did you know it, Mike? Yep. Two Egg is in southwest Georgia, down there in that area near Albany, where we were, Eddie. Sure is. Mmm, love whipping cream. All right, I'm gonna need just a tablespoon of heavy cream. If you don't have any heavy cream, heck, I usually just put water, water in mine um, because it seems to make it uh, not as tough as milk can make it. Okay, a little salt, a little pepper. I've got a tablespoon of butter and uh, I've got some green onions. So I'm gonna start by heating our pan. And I did, I did use a nonstick spray on our pan. Because when you make an omelet, you certainly don't want them to stick. And they will stick on you. Okay, 
So that is it. Um, pimento cheese omelet. Two large eggs, a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream, fourth of a teaspoon of kosher salt, uh, one tablespoon of butter, a third of a cup of pimento cheese, two tablespoons of chopped green onions, and you'll need chopped green onions and diced pimentos, and a little more shredded cheese for your topping on your omelet. So, all we have to do is um, let our pan get up to heat. And when you're making an omelet, y'all, you, you have to have one of these rubber spatulas uh, because you're gonna have to move your egg around a little bit so that the uncooked part of the egg can can uh, flow underneath the bottom of the omelet. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we got that beat up real good. I like to make sure it's really beat well. Because I want this omelet to be fluffy. Like me, fluffy like me. I'm not fat, I'm fluffy. <laughs> I think that's hot enough, y'all, because I don't want my omelet to cook too fast. I like cooking them uh, on a slower, lower heat because I like my omelets done. Excuse me, Therese. <laughs> I'm going to inch up that heat just a little bit. And you'll see that the outside edge is going to get done first. Be patient. And do you see what I'm doing? I'm pulling away the edge so that the raw can have its turn on the bottom of the pan. Okay, so now I'm going to add the good stuff on half of it. The pimento cheese, and you can put as much or as little as you want. The recipe calls for a third of a cup. And you see I've taken this off of the eye while I'm doing this because I want it to have a chance to keep cooking. And then I'm putting my green onions in there. Put it back on the stove. it's well done yes ma'am all right now I'm gonna reach over Eddie and look for my spatula and there it is uh, I was at Aunt Peggy's one time and I looked over in her little container and saw this spatula. I said, where did that come from, great, great? And she said, oh, I don't know. I've had it for years. I said, well, I sure do like it. And she said, well, take it. <laughs> so I took it. I like it. It's real flexible. So I'm going to try to get under here 
and flip that omelet just like that. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna turn that down and I'm gonna top the top of the omelet just with a little bit more cheese, not a whole bunch. Just to let people know what it is, I'm topping it with some pimento. And then I'm gonna top it with a little bit more of my onion. And there is our pimento cheese omelet. This makes a wonderful dinner. You know, I love breakfast for dinner sometimes. And uh, it's just that simple. Omelets are very, very easy to make. It just, you have to be just a little patient. Cook them a little slower than you would if I was standing up here frying two over medium eggs. Like I said, it makes a great dinner. It makes a great brunch recipe or a great breakfast recipe. So let's see what we got. Our pimento cheese has started melting. Uh-oh. I almost got it. <laughs> I want some of those pimentos. Mm. It's so good. The twang from the pimento cheese is just delicious. So y'all enjoy one night when you think, oh, I don't have anything to cook for supper. Make an omelet and put anything you want to in it. I love shrimp omelets. Mm. This is delicious. y'all it's Paula Dean. Now if you enjoyed this video be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes y'all.